Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 7 of our Ottomans Let's Play series where we're go attempting to go for a, you know, world conquest, one faith, a bunch of different achievements um, sprinkled out throughout the mix of there. Um, we're currently, we currently have 942 development and kind of what I use for a general rule of thumb for a world conquest is to have a, at least a thousand development by 1500. And it looks like we're going to be able to hit that without any issues because we're actually going to go ahead and start conquering down here with the Hans, the Hans. The Hasa. Mm, I want to say Hansa, but it's the Hasa, I believe. Uh, nah, that's still probably the wrong pronunciation. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and click this button for Wallachia, just because it's permanent claims. They never go away, just so that we know when it comes up later. We are capped on military points. We are almost done coring, so why don't we just go ahead and develop... Mm, this is... Oh, that's cotton. We want something like a, a bad trade good. Yeah, cows will do. Just go ahead and... Um, it's not a very good location. 25% increased dev cost. Mm, no, thank you. So we have this nice nice fertile land over... Oh, okay, this is actually a decent location. There you are. Dry lands. That seems fine. You produce grain. Yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and throw some diplo or uh, military points in there just so that we're no longer kept. Uh, how dare you, Celia, for not giving us your trade power. You guys would technically join a coalition. I don't agree with you. Get annexed. <laughs> you guys have no artillery. You at least have one. You go and do that. You go there. You go here, and I believe we're fighting someone else. Oh, down here. Okay, perfect. You guys walk all the way down there. Can you walk there as well? No, we don't have access. All right, that's fine. We are going to work on getting our vassals throughout this war. Uh, Najd is very close, we just have to go ahead and curate our favors to go ahead and give us some trust. And they should be ready and willing, I believe. Ah, right at zero. We can convert something? No, we can do the click for uh, corruption reduction. What does that mean? More money for us. We'll go ahead and take that, and... Sh -sh 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 -sh. Goodbye. You guys got black flagged. <laughs> Alright, go back. And then we can come back. All the way down here. That'll work, and we'll also go to war with uh, the Hasa as well during our stay here. Uh, why don't you give me some more trust so that way you actually go ahead and join us? You, we can probably. Oh, we don't have enough favors. Really? Kind of would have figured we would have had enough. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send you a gift just because you are ready and waiting. Send gift. One, 25 ducats is definitely worth it. And that was none of our current military leaders, our active leaders. Alright, we'll just sit here, wait behind this fort. Not a big deal, Naj, you are ready. This is also going to give us a, an opinion bump with Shamar, just courtesy of the fact that they are rivaled to one another. Invite a scholar. I still don't think I, I want to do this. Like, it's just... Oh, we got aggressive expansion reduction. Now, now that that is something I would be willing to pay admin points for. That is something we are going to have to deal with for the entire length of the game. We can do that for a little while. I don't know if we're necessarily doing rapid expansion right now, but eh, you know, any expansion is it's gonna we're, it's gonna make it a little bit easier. We are still definitely in the realm of potential coalitions for sure. There you go, Naj. You have joined us. That means Shamar, you are well on your way to go ahead and give you military access for additional ten opinion. Naj just sending their 2k troops out there. Congratulations. Uh, we'll maintain with you, just so we don't take any hits at the yearly tick. Or the annual tick, if you will. Let's see, we can... Have we influenced you? No? Alright, spend the 10 ducats. Get them in here. And then we'll send them a gift. Let's go for national land manpower. Should be a little bit better. Mmm, piss off, Crimea. It's okay. Your free land that we have... And we'll venture, you're in March right now, so it's, you don't even pay us anything. So it just is what it is. This is also a small army that we'll have to fight. We'll finish this siege, and then we'll actually go ahead and declare on you as well. All right, Shamar. We'll go ahead and send you a gift. No, oh, the siege is already over. We will hold off on sending you a gift then. All right, do not make a wall your, your war goal, just courtesy of the fact that... Uh, we don't have a boats, and they're going to be able to give us, uh, are going to have uh, superiority. We'll give this province to Naj, because they are asking for it. You guys go here, we're going to start flooding in. Who else are we at war with now? Oman, and, okay, these guys over here. 
these fooligans. Right, just go there. That'll work. Shamar, you're ready to go ahead and get vassalized. Welcome aboard. Get another 2k in here. We do need to do some diplo, uh, diplo annexing, just because it makes life a little bit easier. You guys can't walk through you. You are currently unhappy. Maybe go ahead and start improving relations with you. That or does Shamar have claims on you? Just oh, they do. We're allied to the Mamluks, so maybe we, uh, just separate piece you in the future war. I know I've just uh, neglected you before. Let's see. Transfer subjects. No, thank you. Common bonus. Nah. Infantry cab. Doesn't matter. We have like two calves in the entire army. I guess we'll do this one, but I always forget to unclick that button at the end of the age, so it ends up costing us some diplo point or military points. Click that button for extra war taxes. Go. You guys walking to Shamar? No. No, you guys just sit there. My friend, you are going to get full annexed. We are going to pay the diplo points for it. Not a big deal. Mm, yeah, we'll take the base tax. I think eventually they'll be coming net positive. We just have a high income. We're not interested in or worried about any of that. For that matter, Hormuz, you look awfully tiny. Do you have cores? You have lots of cores. I would take a vassalization of you. Do we have a spare relationships? Not really. Good. I don't really want to drop Poland yet. I would probably drop Bohemia first. Their 14k versus the Poland, Lithuania, and Danzig combination combo. <clears throat> it is superior. You, yeah, you're not giving us military access. That's fine. Cool, cores are rolling in. Very nice. We are making a t almost 12 ducats a month, which is great. We could probably upgrade some of our leaders or our advisors. Level two discipline could be decent, but we're not really fighting anyone that we are like scared to fight. So. Maybe we'll just stock... No, we're not going to stockpile our cash. We're going to go ahead and invest in our economy. Taxes, there we go. Go with the general rule of thumb of anything above, what, like 0 0.1, 0 0.6 is just kind of what I do. Trade, not very good. Anything over here in Ragusa? No. Uh, no. Alright, so we'll upgrade some centers of trade then once we get a chance. There is the first siege of the Haza. All right, you guys go over here to Oman. You have no siege. You have won the siege. Good. You go there. You are a combat stack. You go say hi. Make sure they aren't doing anything that they shouldn't be doing. And just start wiping the floor with them, really. That's it. Ooh, revolts. We have peasants. Fortunately, we have one army over here that is doing absolutely nothing in terms of actually fighting, so... Or moves, you just got a core back. I think that was uh, just rebels breaking it, kind of looked like. Distance between borders. Well, our borders are coming, so don't worry about that. Take military tech for the innovativeness, which is getting ready to go away. 200 days. I think 200 days is right going to be right before January, so we'll just go ahead and click that button. We're not, it's not going to get any cheaper. We have plenty of military points, so I'm totally okay with that. Continuing to uh, let it snowball a bit. You guys are on your way there. Go help Najd out. <clears throat> there we go. Oman, you're going to be easy to occupy. Hormuz, hopefully I don't take any of your cores. It does not look like I will. Actually, this is a Hormuz core. I may end up taking it, so we'll have to... Uh, do some shenanigans to make sure that you don't get ha unhappy with us. Because getting this little straight axis is going to be very helpful later on. Means we can pretty much just go right into India through Baluchistan. Which you are a very uh, big Baluchistan from what I recall. Normally, uh, actually you kind of, you normally have these bits. Never mind. You look almost normal, which is kind of strange. Alright, Oman, get out of here. Sure, give us a little bit of cash. You guys march all the way down there. Let's go say hi over here. Your allies almost ready to go ahead and peace out. What do we have here? Oh, we can convert provinces. Very nice. Get rid of that Shia faith. <clears throat> uh, this one can go to Najd. If you guys ask for it, you guys can have it. I'm just saying. I have a claim on this one. We'll come down here. Najd, you're going to come out and eat over here. Except for Mecca. We're going to take Mecca for ourselves for the extra missionary. Although, Nash is very good at converting. They have very religious-centric ideas. 
So, oh, you guys are black flagged. Uh, go around and then come back. <clears throat> it's all good. Who are you? Oh, no. <laughs> What's your importance? Mm, nah, not important enough. Alrighty. This is go to Najd, and we'll also give this province to Najd. We'll let them go ahead and expand a little bit, which also means that we might come, be able to come all the way down here, even, and annex this guy. Hey, extra Diplo rep, that'll make people a little less, a little more likely to go ahead and get vassalized, which is very nice. Oh, that's Oman's army, not ours. Not a big deal, we do have some rebels, Iraqi separatists. Yeah, you guys come over here then. We have separatists, you can go deal with them. We have Wallachian separatists as well. Yeah, that's they're very likely to go ahead and rise up, I'll be honest. Hmm. You're going to work on that. Mazi is no longer giving us our, their trade power. How dare you? Uh, yeah, we go ahead and maintain with our moves. I would give an alliance real quick, uh, but last, no such luck. We could get a royal marriage real quick, and that would secure it. You're on your way there. <clears throat> Bosnia, how are you feeling? Um, a little aggressive expansion is all I'm saying. You were so close to not being able to join. You lost a claim on this. Yeah, but it's Crimean Core. I don't care. <clears throat> we'll get it later. And actually, Genoa, do you have any friends anymore? Really? You still have mainland. Wow, Aragon, look at you go. Mm. We were going to have a big war against Aragon where we just blockade this straight. <laughs> and we just go, we're not going to fight your army, but we'll go ahead and just occupy everything. All right, let's go to Naj. Naj is actually going to get a little uh, a little bigger today. Kudos to you guys. Hormuz, we're going to try and vassalize you just so we can give this land back to you. And then we might actually feed you this bit here in Arabia. Move towards legalism? Yes, please. And I also convert province to Sunni, I believe, which, you know, I'm all for. Is that the truth with you? It is. Rebels in Baghdad? Where's his army? Oh, it's standing right there. Right, we're gonna go to war with you since you have no friends, and we can go ahead and expand uh, Shamar. Do something like that, that'll work. Um, this is gonna go to Najd. Najd is gonna get pretty thick real quick, um, which, you know, is gonna cause some have rebel issues. That's okay. Do you want white peace, Mara? I would take it. Answer is yes. Good. All right, you are ready for peace. I have to take this land beforehand. That means Naj is not going to get that land. That's fine. We'll just take that. Yeah, you give me some cash. Wait a day. Influence, sure. No diplomats. Well, we are waiting very patiently. Do I want to give the royal marriage over? Hmm. Missionary strength is going to be big for us. Definitely help with our conversions. Any extra conversions we can do? No. Makes this one faster, though. Hormuz, let's go ahead and give you a, get a royal marriage. There we go. You'll be likely to actually go ahead and take vassalization after this. I know we're going over the diplo for relationship limit. It's okay. Sorry, I gotta peace out with you first. Give me that land. Revoke your cores. No, we're not offering tribute. This is a total victory. There we go. <clears throat> you guys are an accepted culture, but... Move three development. Move two development to the capital. It just makes it a little bit cheaper for us to go and core real quick. Alright. Behasa. You're just waiting on our diplomats. You are here. Just want to make sure we're not going to step on anyone's toes. Good. That will perfectly not step on anyone's toes. Do something like that. That will do. Give me your cash. Uh, no, we'll just return that later. Subsequent war. Do some war ups, and there you go. Consolidate this, we get one development, so it gets a little bit cheaper. Naj, you are looking nice. Or at least a little nicer. We'll go ahead and give you that uh, wasteland here eventually. Definitely not the most important land in the world. 
No Separatists up here yet. Bohemia, do we drop you or do we drop... Yeah, we, I think we drop Bohemia. Actually, I've not been checking the Coalition, so that could also be a thing. <laughs> go. Do some more coring, and I think we can go ahead and convert some land. We can indeed. No, don't cancel that one. There we go. <clears throat> go and start converting the land that we can't core right now. Because we have a lack of admin points at the moment. Alright, this war, you just got those two guys. Who is the other one? Oh, you over there. I don't even think we have military access to you. No. So. You guys go there. You guys just enjoy your break over there. Same with you. Is it time that we go to the north? Man, QQ really hates us. 130 aggressive expansion. Do I even have CBs? Oh, I do have CBs on you. These two right here. Well, that means QQ is going to get attacked. Oh, good. We have military access to you now. Mm, that means that you are done so. I wish you luck. <clears throat> Let's go and core some more land. My development is our capital up. So it starts at 31. We get an event for it to go up to three or to 34. So we've uh, and we haven't dev this yet. So we've almost doubled the size just courtesy of just uh, consolidating the realm a little bit. Hmm. How much money are we making? 14 ducats. I don't really want extra military points. I'd rather have advent. Yeah, go for a missionary. Missionary is a little bit better. Let's go ahead and send these two armies north. Uh, we need to go ahead and actually start structuring our armies into something. Because right now they just kind of look like a hodgepodge of stuff. That can go to Shamar. This can also go to Shamar. Alrighty, you. I just want peace with you. Answer is no. Shamar, do you have claims? You have claims on Naj. Naj, you have claims on Shamar. Alright, I want you guys to go ahead and get claims on other people, though. Or moves, you're still not feeling very friendly with us. Let's go and give you a guarantee for the extra 10 opinion. We're going to start curating your opinion with us. Or your relationship, rather. Let's go ahead and... Can I not core these? Because, yeah, they're locked behind. Gotcha. Oh, no, we're currently uh, converting them. Never mind. All right, you are all ready to go. That was very quick. You are Coptic. I would convert you if I could. Oh, we can actually pillage your capital for one aggressive expansion. We can click that button for two Diplo points. I think it's going to give us one dev or something. Yeah, one dev. That's fine. One dev for two Diplo points, is, I, that's worth it for one aggressive expansion even. It's not that bad. I will annex you guys. Coalition. QQ, Ajam, Haza, Bypass. Yeah, not enough to actually make me worry. Uh, the Mamluks have, uh, have thoroughly been neutered. At least I think they have. <clears throat> Bohemia, you have 12k troops. Not exactly uh, what I'm looking for in terms of a quality ally. Uh, so we'll just go and break that. And Hormuz is going to... They're at least going to give us some cash. And cores to return. These are Wallachian Separatists that we knew about. And that we're going to go ahead and take care of. Cores will be rolling in soon. Hormuz, we have an alliance. Not quite ready for vassalization due to the distance between our borders. Interesting. Shamar, did you just insult us? You just insult us? Uh, we're, your, we're your overlord. We're benevolent. We have done nothing wrong to you. We've only made you stronger. And you decide to spit in our face? All right, you guys go over there. We're just trying to build the army back up. Where's our truce with the Mamluks? Up. Oh, that's out of curious. 1493. How about you, QQ? 1497. So we're going to go to war with the Mamluks first. We could go over here to Hungary. That war is up in 93 as well. Oof. That is a couple wars altogether. Could try and eat Bosnia. We'll do this in a separate war just to make sure we don't get too much AE over here. Right now we're working in the Sunni realm. Another conversion. Beautiful. Everything else just needs to get cored. We can... Ah, yes. We have rebels right now. Otherwise we could do that click. I'm going to go ahead and wait until we can do that click. Alrighty, what is the current combat width? Just out of curiosity, it is 24. So we have like a bunch of like half stacks, kinda. Continue you your conversions. Can't pour anything yet, so we're just chilling. Every army can have at least two cav. I'm just saying. 
We'll go up to 16k stacks. I just built one too many infantry. I said 16k stacks and then did 17. Genius. Go, you're 16k. Everyone gets one value cannon. This guy doesn't even have a cannon yet, so I'm just chill on that one. We got our, on our conversions. That is totally fine. Hey, we can definitely find a job for that guy. Although I kind of prefer having the improved relations. We'll actually just make them a level 2 advisor then. Alright, go ahead and convert that. Anyone need help converting? I don't think so. Everyone's pretty much Sunni. I don't think Naj needs help either. Am I going over our force limit? Is that what this is? No, we're not yet. And give take your value cannon. There you go. Should we be able to do this click now? Yes, we can. Click. Up to 49%. Cannot get above that 50% just because of our constant conquest. Bosnia is a subject. No, we don't want to subjugate Bosnia. I want to annex Bosnia. It's one base manpower. No, nah, base tax in Constantinople. I'm not going to dev it, but shh, are we going to steal dev? Probably not. All right, sure. Increase the autonomy. There you go. I don't like those events, I'll be honest. Conversions are underway. I think we're just chilling for a minute until we can go ahead and go fight the Mamluks. Uh, the Great Horde looks like they've died a bit. They could definitely join the coalition. They have no friends. They only have 15,000 manpower, or 15,000 troops. Wait for our armies to go ahead and consolidate a little bit. And we can go for our Crimean course. Get those back. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I know you guys were drilling. Come on back. Uh, you're still waiting on one of your troops. You are perfect, though. Oh, we just have enough uh, transports, actually. Oh, actually. You guys just get on the boats here. You guys are both here. You guys come back? Yeah, you are. Okay. Attach the transports. Get on there and... Go drop off here, I guess. That'll work. Truce with Genoa. Could also go ahead and threaten, probably. Do you accept the threat? Oh, we're currently at war, so I can't even ask. Core both those two provinces. You guys go back to drilling. You guys can drill. I think we only need one stack to actually go fight uh, the Golden Horde, to be honest, especially with Crimea already doing their job. That's already being sieged. Crimea, you're doing that. And now you guys go back to protecting your trade in Alexandria. Who wants in? Poland does. Mm, Poland, this is not a, uh, a worthy ally or opponent for you. I will be honest. Full stack wave of the Golden Horde, or the Great Horde's navy. That is fine. Bohemia still does appreciate our, uh, our alliance. No, don't send an insult. We, we are happy with them. Do have claims on Red Goose now? No. Okay, it's just Bosnia. Not a big deal. Austria, yeah, you're rival to us. Not a big deal. I guess we'll go ahead and help No Guy with their siege, uh, since they're probably going to try and take this land. Oh, never mind, it fell. <clears throat> we will sit here and wait for you to go ahead and peace out there, No Guy. Uh, do we need all these forts? Probably not, no. I do? Oh, we already have a fort there. Probably want one. That's ah, grassland. It's not a very good location. I'd rather have the Hungarian forts, to be honest. A little bit better. Alright, Mamluks. When's the piece up? Let's just go ahead and take a look again. 93. Shamar, you're looking good. Naj, you look better. Hormuz, you are not willing to take vassalization yet. You are an emirate. You are government and distance between our borders. The only thing. Military power and economic base compared to you guys is way superior. You're in a trade league, so you will not give us that. We can get 0. 0.6, excuse me, 62 ducats for giving you knowledge sharing. Sure, might as well do it. Give us a little bit of cash. Makes you a little bit better as well. Because we don't need to continue influencing you, to be honest. We're keeping Bohemia happy. Uh, just because if they join the coalition, it's just not going to end well for us. Too many cooks in the kitchen ends up make uh, ends up with a fire. So, 
You guys are doing great here. Doing lots of annexation. Ooh. Oh, they have Aragon. Yeah, and you're fighting Aragon now. Alright, Bohemia's dead. We've led them astray. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. It does mean Austria is very strong because they have Aragon. Uh, yeah. Bohemian, you don't need that anymore. You're, you, you need to focus on other things. I understand. Are these uh, Shia or Sunni? Religious fanatics. Yep, they are Shia. You come on down here and deal with them. Won't take long, I don't think. Stetton is attacking Mecklenburg, and uh, that's pretty common. Excuse me, I had to sneeze there for a second. Try not to uh, blast anyone's ears out. Looks like the Teuton still exists, even though Danzig doesn't exist anymore. Poland does have a claim on it, so they're probably not going to exist for much longer. And another conversion is underway. You guys are actually going to win. We did roll... Oh, well, okay. We rolled well suddenly and turned the tide of battle, but that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. We are currently losing... 10 ducats a month. Hmm. Port maintenance is 20 ducats. Yeah, that's not a small amount. We have war taxes right now, too, even even bolsting it up. Convert that province. Could statify some of this. Trent is joining the Trade League of Venice. Sure. I do want to go ahead and get Kosovo in here. The gold mine. Hopefully this can also get stated, to be honest. There we go. Because now we have a gold mine that we can go ahead and develop using some Diplo points that we, we're going to use just to go ahead and finish the uh, the ideas and take tax. Well, like we, we are going to take tax, so it's not like it's insignificant. Sure, Austria, you can have military access. That means you can't attack me, so that's at least a good thing. Trade League disbanded by Sulu. Okay. Military leader has left us. Unacceptable. The one currently uh, leading combat. You guys are all drilling. That seems fine. Got our core again. Good. Any time whore moves that you want to get vassalized, I'm totally down. This dude borders actually went down. Is that just because we're actually starting to core land? We are still a bit away. A ways. Poland, you wish to join? Ah, no such luck. Bohemia is definitely dying. There's no no ifs, ands, or buts about that one. This war looks like it's pretty much already over. Just give that back. And we'll be square. Don't have any forts in the area. Well, we are definitely sieging one down already. Does look like we lost a siege leader. Let's go ahead and tell our vassals to actually go ahead and start claiming some of this land. We'll get claims on here ourselves for uh, Hejaz. Uh, but if they want some claims, we can definitely feed them a little bit. Naj, you can only expand this way. Shamar, same with you. So you guys might not live for uh, that much longer. Just kind of like Diplo annexing a little bit, just so you can uh, trade Diplo points instead of admin points for everything. Is any of this your accepted culture? No. Okay. Tolerance of the True Faith, that'll help. And Cavalry Combat Ability uh, is not exactly the most important thing when you only have like 8,000 Gav in your entire army. No, we can also do a Diplo. Envoy arrival time, sure. I do. Oh, that's the cost. I was like, if it was just um, monthly tick decays, that would be great. I'm sure, we can do a culture conversion. Where is this? Ah, yeah, we'll do that. Alrighty, great horde. We're going to go ahead and take this. You can keep everything else. I don't really care. Give me your money. There you go. Just get out. It's fine with us. Genoa, how are, who are you friends with? You have Venice, Lucca, and Florence. Lucca will not join. Venice would, though. 
Hmm. I think we can actually go to war with Bosnia then. With the uh, Bosnian nations. Can I ask for military access through you? I don't think that gives us. Oh, it does give us Lithuania. Good. We're just gonna come over here and just start wrecking some stuff. We're gonna go annex all of Bosnia. That gives us claims on the Dalmatia region, which is up to here. Which is gonna be uh, more claims on Hungary and Venice, which is nice. You have really no no uh, notable allies. There, just go capture capital. The other th armies are coming on their way. Uh, we might just annex Ragusa, honestly, in this war, too. Because I don't know if we get claims on it. So we can go ahead and look. Austrian proper. Wow, that's uh, quite the extent. The Dalmatia area. And Aldoff. Let's go areas. That's Dalmatia, so it would include Ragusa. Okay, we're not going to eat Ragusa then. Well, actually, if I just spend the Diplo points for it, we can totally can. Hmm. Maybe we'll put, spend the Diplo points. Not a big deal. Let's go on call to convert you. There we go. And that is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.